U.S. Permanent Representative to the United Nations, Ambassador Samantha Power, concluded a four-day visit to Israel this week, aimed at discussing a range of regional and bilateral issues. Ambassador Power began her trip with a guided tour of Yad Vashem Holocaust Museum in Jerusalem, where she also laid a wreath in memory of the victims and signed the guest book. In the morning of her second day, Ambassador Power met with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu at his Jerusalem office, and also with Israeli President Reuven Rivlin at his residence. Uh, Mr. President, uh, I bring the greetings of President Obama with Thank you. I know you've had very warm and productive encounters lately. Uh, I've been here two days so far, and uh, it's been very moving. The bilingual hand-in-hand -hand school was Ambassador Power's next stop, as she visited the first grade classroom that was torched in 2014. Ambassador Power then suited up for a friendly game of basketball with Jewish and Arab members of Peace Players, which uses sports as a tool for conflict resolution. In the evening, Ambassador Power headed to the American International School in Evan Yehuda, where she addressed Jewish and Arab Israeli high school students at the Israel Middle East Model UN conference. To the young women in the audience today, I say, I hope that one day, one or even several of you will be sitting behind the placard that reads Israel at the United Nations, or when the day comes that the parties negotiate a two-state solution, the placard that reads Palestine. On her final day, Ambassador Power met with Israeli Minister of Defense Moshe Yalon at his office in Tel Aviv, and later with former Israeli President Shimon Peres. Ambassador Power's trip to the south began with a helicopter flight over central Israel and a briefing by an Israeli military officer, accompanied by U.S. Ambassador to Israel Dan Shapiro and Israel's Ambassador to the U.N. Danny Danon. Upon her landing in the western Negev region, Ambassador Power observed the transfer of goods from Israel to the Gaza Strip through the Kerem Shalom border crossing. She ended her visit to Israel with a tour of Kibbutz Nachal Oz, where she heard from local residents about the difficulties of living so close to the Gaza Strip and the hopes they have for peace and stability in the region.